All right, so it's uh, May 30th. Uh, we're finishing up the spring planting um, in the month of May. Um, and I want to go over some success uh, that we've had and some failures that we've had just for myself to look back on and for anybody who's following along to kind of see see both ends of the spectrum here. Um, so what we're going to do is just take a walk around the field and um, I'm going to show some of the things that uh, we did well and some of the things that we could do better uh, next season. So. Uh, to start off with, uh, this area here, um, this was the area that I did that lasagna mulch. Uh, you can see that that failed. That's a failure. Um, the uh, This plant right here got some kind of bulb in the ground that I have to go through and dig every, dig every single one of those out. Um, so the new plan is to cover this whole area with plastic throughout the summer. So hopefully that'll just cook everything, get everything killed and uh, get us down to bare soil. We're kind of toying with doing the lasagna mulch better than I did it before. Uh, the layers should have been thicker. That was a whole lot of work and I'd hate to do all that again and then have the same thing happen. So I'm thinking it's probably gonna, we're probably gonna do uh, the plastic sheeting kill everything, pull that up, uh, do a double dig with just compost and and then lay landscape fabric over the top of that and plant through that. So we'll see how that goes. Um, one more failure um, that I want to show over here is these trees. Uh, there's a couple trees that we planted a couple years ago and you can see that this peach tree got some gnarly kind of fungus. It's got that leaf curl. And here's a nectarine tree that looks completely dead. So I'm not a tree expert, but those don't look good. So I know that those aren't, uh, those weren't successful. Um, so, I, you know, I, I learned a valuable lesson with the, uh, this bed over here but uh, those trees can't see I really learned anything yet but there's still time to learn something on those um, successes so far this potato bed here looks like like a success um, we got potatoes coming up out of straw they're not buried they're growing really well and it was easy not a whole lot of work that was that was really simple also these tomatoes in this tunnel here, they're just popping off. It's getting to where I'm gonna need to, you can kind of see them through there. Those are, that plastic's gonna have to come off soon and um, my plan is to uh, just prune the um, suckers at some point and then just get them to grow vertically on lines that, uh, I'll make a video about that after I do it. But I'm pretty, pleased with this area right here this we double dug this whole area or actually no we didn't we just double dug where the tomatoes are I'll double dig this over here with the potatoes um, next season if I'm gonna put something different here but uh, those are crushing it I'm pretty excited about those those are good tomatoes and um, so uh, that's good the rest of this here these these beds it's a little a little too soon to tell i did have some failure on this bed here um, i had planted hundreds of carrots with old seed none of them germinated so that was a failure um, on that end of the bed i planted swiss shard very little of it came up that was also old seed so what I learned from that is I'm not going to save seed for more than a year. After a year, it's going to be either planted or replenished because uh, it's a huge waste of time to put a bunch of seed in and have it not um, come up. You know, you spend all that time putting compost in, irrigating. So I won't be doing that again. Um, so also, 
the uh, plant starts that we did, we had some some success and some failure there. Um, some of the plants I, I put under artificial light, they got super tall and lanky and um, I wasn't able to sell those, nor was I comfortable planting them. Um, so those ended up going to waste, but it was a, a very small amount of um, plants that that happened with. I got an issue over here I got to deal with. Uh, oh gosh. Okay. Um, but so that was a, a lesson learned. I'm, I, uh, I'm, I'm planning on doing it completely differently next year. Um, another mistake I made with the plant starts was limiting myself uh, to um, a small amount of, I, I didn't have a great variety. I, 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 I planted lots of different plants, but like specifically tomatoes, I had many requests for smaller tomatoes. A lot of people want to garden, they don't really have space to grow these huge, you know, slicing tomatoes that, that I chose to go with. I picked a, um, a red brandy wine and a yellow pineapple tomato and they're both big tomatoes and so a lot of requests for small tomatoes so next year I'll be expanding my uh, my variety uh, of tomatoes um, and we didn't really take them to any markets besides um, we went to the citywide garage sale thing and you know that uh, thousands of people go to and we sold a lot of plants there um, so I think that that was a success in that sense, um, but I, I think I would have sold more plants had I um, broadened my horizons and gone to more markets, put myself out there more. Um, so next year we're going to make some adjustments there as far as what we plant and where, we, where we're selling, who we're selling to. Um, so the result of not uh, selling all of those plants was I had a lot of plants left over and so for and most of them were tomatoes and uh, we haven't been able to grow too many tomatoes yet here like where we have uh, just a surplus we've had some problems in the last couple of years with with our tomatoes uh, either going in late or stunted growth and <clears throat> this year we just completely nailed it with our tomatoes they all did really well and uh, a lot of that's due to the soil we used and the timing was right but anyway so I have a bunch of extra tomatoes and rather than throw them on the compost pile I planted those suckers so uh, this year if there's gonna be a year uh, that we have way too many tomatoes um, if, if the Lord wills it it'll be this year because um, I've just straight up densely planted I mean there's 40 there's 40 plants in this little bed here so it's gonna be a kind of tricky with um, pruning them and stuff but I think I can handle it here's another here's another 40 in there and there's another 40 plus there's in in this hoop house there's a couple there's I think there's like three or four in there and then there's a uh, in that bed there's like 10 um, of those really really cool grape tomato plants that I'm really excited about the ones that are technicolor um, and then in the the tunnel over here there's um, 30 tomato plants so we got well over 100 plants um, going and uh, so I'm really excited about that I think that was that that has the potential to be really successful um, these two beds, yesterday I planted them with our corn. So um, that could backfire on me. I don't know, I needed to get the corn in the ground. This was the area that I had, so I put it in. The only issue that I can see with it is that it's, it's probably gonna shade these tomatoes. But in the peak tomato production months, the sun's directly overhead and um, I don't know. I, I think it's going to be all right. So there's where the corn went. These tomatoes I just got finished putting in today. Um, so a lot of success, I think, so far over there. Everything's looking really good. Um, 
I did, however, have some failure with growing my lettuces. Um, I planted them at the right time, and for some reason we just got this uh, couple weeks, or it might have just been one full solid week of like really hot weather, and my lettuces just bolted um, immediately. So, so I turned those over. I started a new crop, put them in, it's a little late, and it's starting to warm up again. So we'll see, you know, if uh, it doesn't end up um, working out, then whatever. Lesson learned, we'll, we'll be more prepared next season with shade cloth. Um, and uh, I think I'll just start them earlier. I'll just get them out earlier. Uh, another thing that happened that I think contributed to the lettuce not producing is we just got nailed with rain um, that the week before it got really hot it just pounded rain I mean we just got dumped on and and I think that that really hurt these things uh, and the way I could have combated that also the shade cloth would have done that that stuff's uh, I think it's a little permeable but for the most part it you know it blocks these plants from just getting nailed with rain so there's still a chance for success here. We still could get a crop of arugula. We still could get a crop of romaine. If you look over here, there's some heads that look like they're gonna make something happen. This is all a new planting over here on this side. And then that's the ones that I salvaged that didn't bolt. And then over here, you can barely see, but I just put in arugula a couple days ago. So, and it looks like it's starting to take, but anyway, I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I'm just learning a lot from this. Um, the strawberries, the strawberries that we put in this bed uh, did not take. I put a couple runners in, they're doing great. Um, so the, so anyway, here's here's the, the bed. There's where the ones that I bought were supposed to be, no longer there. Here's the runners that I put in, doing great. There's the June bearing strawberries that are just going off like nobody's business. I mean, we got that going on just everywhere there's the gang of strawberries so really stoked about that the uh, ever bearing strawberries looking good too filling out so that's all looking good that apple tree got apples on it success uh, this apple tree I don't think there's any fruit on it yet but it's a year behind the granny smith but this one's like my favorite kind of apple it's the honey crisp Oh, those are good. Plums, plum tree, got plums on it. Thumbs up. All of these cherry trees, they all have cherries on them. Looking great. The fig tree, this fig tree is loaded with figs. All right, there's just so much fruit on this tree. And my wife makes the best fig jam I've ever had in my life, so we'll be making a bunch of that, a bunch of dried figs. Um, this fig tree, it's got fruit on it, but it's not as packed as this one is. This one's a little less fruit, but it's still producing, so thumbs up there. That plum tree, has got plums on it. The pear trees, they got pears on them. So, can't complain there. The chickens, they are happy. The electric fence works. Um, the coop is still standing, so, I mean, that's good stuff there. Uh, man, there's always like this, there's, you can hear that snapping. Every single time there's like this little cricket animal or insect over here. I don't know what attracts them to that spot, but they're always there. Let's see if I can get them off in between shocks. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but that keeps happening. These chickens are totally happy, and I consider that a success. Um, the asparagus beds, um, they're just going off. So the asparagus is doing well. So all in all, like weighing good and the bad. I think that we've had a lot more success than we've had failure. There's a cherry. Um, which is good, but I I, um, I really value 
this learning opportunity. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a farmer, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to figure this out because this is what I want to do. And I think the biggest success of this year is that I've been able to stick to it. You know, in, year, in the previous years, I, I don't think I was um, really giving it my all. I think that I kind of wanted it, but not bad enough to get my butt out here and, um, and grind every single day. And uh, this season, I've, I've done that. Um, I've been putting in long hours, you know, working here all day long, every single day, except for I take, you know, a, a day of rest on, on Sundays. And, uh, but six days a week, man, just going for it. And, and it has not, I mean, it's, it's been physically tiring, but it's fulfilling. I, I really enjoy this work. I really want, want to do it. So I'm just going to push towards it as much, as much as I can. Um, you got to check out this plum tree. Look at all these freaking plums. What is going on? That's probably too many. Look at all these things. These branches are like weighing down. That's probably a bad thing for you. You know, there's probably somebody out there that knows what, what a plum tree is supposed to look like. But whatever. It's got some fruit on it. I'm learning. But anyway, I think that uh, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything. But I... Um, I've known myself to procrastinate and I, I did it this year too. I think that there was, you know, things I could have done better. I always feel like I can be doing better. Um, like mowing the lawn here takes a long time and you can tell by my videos that, uh, I don't do it as often as most folks. I'm not worried about things looking pretty, which is good because if I, you know, cared any more about that than I do, I probably would just spend all my time clipping grass and pruning stuff and I would never get anything planted. So, but, um, you know, I think I've been able to prioritize, uh, what needs to be done to achieve my goals. And, um, that's something I haven't, I don't think I've been able to save for myself for, for a while. Uh, because I get, kind of get stagnant and you know I do just enough and then and uh, and then I like to kick it and take it easy and this year um, I just had a clear vision of what I wanted and what it was going to take to get there and just the desire to do that every time I woke up in the morning you know 7:30, jump out of bed boots on cup of coffee read my Bible for a bit, say my prayers, and then, then I'm out in the field, you know, like, just going for it. And it's dope. I love it. This is what I want to do. It's super cool. I would rather make a very modest living doing this kind of work every day than go in and take my lunch break with my kids and see my wife and um, meet all these people that want to eat good food. I'd rather do that than, than any other job, you know. Um, so that's what I'm working towards. Uh, you got to see some of the successes and failures, and um, I just appreciate anybody that's watching this and showing support to local small farmers that are trying to get it like I am. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Crushing it.